Oblates of the Holy Face are a group of lay women who help the priests in their parish and specifically at St. Gertrude here. The main thing is that we don't take any vows. Um, we try to live by the spirit of the vow, but we don't actually bind ourselves to them. Um, and we don't have a rule, but we are, we serve the, we get our jobs from the priest and we serve the priests and the parish. When people address us as sister, they address us as sister in our first name. And then once we become a novice, our pastor and director will give us new names that we will take on for the rest of our lives. Um, it's a simple black dress with a black veil, um, with a white shirt with the white cuffs and collar, and we have a white belt with a 15-decade rosary with the holy face as on the cross. And when you become a novice, you will receive um, the Holy Face Medal here. And then after you finish your novice state, then you will receive a black belt in your as your final oblation. Holy Face Devotion is um, mainly to uh, console our Lord from blasphemies and, and insults. And uh, Saint Therese was a um, her, her whole family was very big on the Saint on the Holy Face devotion, and uh, she she had actually included that in her title, Sister Therese of the Child Jesus and the Holy Face. So um, I think it's a good devotion, especially now in our times, to console our Lord and show how much we actually love Him. Well, I am sacristan, which is a lot of work, I can tell you that much. Um, so I set up shrines, investments, a lot of ironing, cleaning, you know, a lot, a lot of candles, anything that needs to get done. Fla I usually don't do flower arranging because that's too much, but <laughs> we have help for that. My own duties at St. Richard the Great, I got assigned to teach this year, so I teach a bunch of second and third graders this year. I also got assigned to teach catechism on Sunday and I try and just help around where and when I can in my own free time. Oh.